Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use the get request in Cocos 2 dx JavaScript. The get request is really simple, it allows you to get some data from an online server. So before we actually get into any coding on our Cocos 2 dx application, I'm just going to go to Chrome and I've already got a web server open with a file called get.php this is the URL, you're more than welcome to use it it's just going to be some really simple PHP this isn't a tutorial on PHP and neither do you have to use PHP you could use some other language, some other server side language on your server it is totally up to you like I said this is a tutorial on Cocos 2 dx just interacting with a server so first of all we're going to do php da, 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 and we're just going to return a string we're going to say hello this is sonar systems smiley face save that now if we just refresh our page this is what it pumps out so we don't actually care about the website what we actually want to do is call this website from here so first of all we need to set the method to get then we need to actually set the URL could type it in manually but why would I but I can just copy and paste it and be lazy so let's paste it right there the next thing we need to do is xhr xhr dot actually forget this I'm just going to save it and just open this up in Sublime because like I've said in my other videos the code formatting for JavaScript in Xcode is terrible so I'm just going to do it in, in here and then run it in Xcode so do xhr.send and now in here we're going to do cc.log we're just going to put network in away so we know it's actually changed state and gone into here then inside here you'll print out the status we preferably want 200 because if it's not 200 it has it hasn't gone completely correct if it's, if it's something like 404 or 403 that's really bad but hopefully it works first time we're just going to get the response from the server so just do var response equals xhr dot response text you could technically put this outside of this if statement but really it should only be getting into this if statement if everything is really a-okay and if it isn't you're not going to be gaining a response anyway so xhr dot response text we're going to do cc dot log response save that now if we just run this away in our simulator just a moment now I'm just generating the DSYM file never builds fast when you need to you're building file, oh, there we go okay we don't care about the simulator networking away HTTP status is 200 okay and it's returned this value hello this is sonar systems you don't have to return a string you can return a number so let's just comment this out let's do echo 7 save that and as you can see it updates it on our web page as well if we run this again exactly return 7 we can go even more complex than that and do some mathematical operation so we could do 6 times 7 which equals 42 as you can see print it out there and now if we just rerun our little test we get the value 42 you can do even more complex stuff than that you could actually be connecting to a MySQL database getting some high scores returning them re returning usernames you can do some really cool stuff with HTTP requests that's it for this video there really isn't much to it more than this if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk 
forward slash questions dot php there will be a link in the description to that there will be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in the networking cocos 2dx series if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment and hit that subscribe button as it really does help us and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day